All right, yeah. let's get right to it, Jay. Yeah. Paint the word picture for us. Um, years ago, uh, when I was a disc jockey in, in Charlotte, North Carolina, we would open uh, all sorts of places, and I used to help open car dealerships and have the remote and give stuff out and T-shirts and all that. Be a big promotion for a the huge car Huge promotion, and we would announce it, and I'm going to be there. So I was very young. I had the, the giant afro and stuff, and uh, <laughs> the uh, white, man's, uh, white man's afro. So um, the Lone Ranger was working for uh, the Chrysler Corporation, Dodge, and he was the spokesman. So he had come to Charlotte to open up the, the, the dealership, and I was going to be the disc jockey. And you say it was Clayton Moore was Clayton the Clayton Moore, the Lone Ranger. But it, later in his career, he really thought he might be the Lone Ranger. Yes. <laughs> he, he stood very erect at all times. He wore the mask at all times. He had the six guns. And he really didn't deal with you other than as the Lone Ranger, right? right? Well, when he's there and the little kids went over to him, my friend, uh, Mike Martin, who is a record promoter with, with long, crazy hair, while the kids were busy over here, he and I went behind the dumpster and we herbed up. <laughs> so we... <laughs> yeah, so we herbed up. And then when I came back into the dealership, everything the Lone Ranger said was hysterical mm -hmm. to us, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're there working, and all of a sudden the promotion ends, we're getting ready to leave, and uh, uh, the car doesn't come for the Lone Ranger. So he's standing uh, very erect with the mask and the six guns, and no one's dealing with him. And I say, gee, Mike, you know, we, uh, we need to get him home somehow. He's, he's got to get back to the he's hotel or the airport. He's got to get back to the red it? carpet yeah. inn at, right. uh, on, on Moorhead <laughs> Street. So... I say, um, uh, Mr. Lone Ranger, uh, would you like us to take you? And he goes, you know, yes, I have this old beat-up Volvo. Mm. And so uh, we get the Lone Ranger dressed in the whole regalia in the back of my beat-up Volvo. And we are trying not to act stoned as we get into the front <laughs> of the Volvo. And so we are driving on Independence Boulevard. It's 5 o'clock. There's not a sound in that car. And we are, we are just sitting like this. All of a sudden, the guy decides to back up to get out of the traffic, and he smashes right into my car, and I can, I can hear the headlight break. Oh. And it's a huge Buick, and he pulls off, and I turn to Mike. We're both completely loaded. I go, we got we to catch this guy, right? right? So the Lone Ranger's in the back. I floor the Volvo. <laughs> And as we were chasing him, and I, Mike reminded me of this, whichever way we went, the Lone Ranger went in the opposite uh, direction. Yeah. What, what, it's a matter of physics, I, I don't guess. Know I don't know why. He yeah. was braced and we weren't uh -huh. braced. Uh -huh. So we are chasing this huge Buick through the streets of Charlotte, mm. North Carolina, right. to try and, and, and catch the guy. Did you right? finally catch up with the we guy? We did catch up with, with the guy. All right, yes. now I'm told that we have some videotape. <laughs> we, we do. We do have videotape. So do we go right to the... Sure, let's, let's, right, let's, let's go right, go to, right the to the video. The never actual... happened before in 13 yeah, years. It's never happened, ever. What are you guys doing? You hit my car! I did not! You did! You broke my headlights! Well, what are you going to do about it? I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, really? Who are they gonna believe? Me or you two hippie freaks? They'll believe me, citizen. I didn't know it was you. Time to go. Oh, my God. Thank you.